What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is time for some more Dead Rising 2. I had fun in the last episode. I got it uploaded. I think I, I waited like three days to edit and upload it, though. So I recorded it a few days prior. But it's definitely time to move on to episode 5. Um, I don't know. Like I said, my motivation ever since I had a little bit of time to um, bounce back from the previous roommate I had and uh, this and that. I think shit's been doing all right. I absolutely forgot. So, as you can see, we have uh, two missions. We have Katie will need Zombrix. That's going to be uh, between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. It's currently 5.31 a.m. 5.32, actually. And then Boomtown. Nothing's happening right now. There's not exactly much I can do about that. So, honestly, I might as well just go, like, fuck around kill some zombies for a bit look for some zombrex just hang out talk but what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna make a big ass cut because i don't want to make like 15 through 30 minutes of gameplay hey bro i i'm aware <laughs> chill but overall i think i'm gonna make a big cut unless something happens oh wait a minute we don't need to make a cut. We have a mission to do. This is great. This is fantastic. The content is rolling in with this one. Oh, shit. We got two. Okay, maybe I'll do those two? Maybe? Man, I gotta see where they take place, actually. Because I know where Rock Heroes are. Rock Heroes is out in the plaza. Or in an, up the outside area. This. South Plaza. Oh, that's like five people right there. Yeah, fuck you, bro. So we're going to be able to save like five people, hopefully, unless I manage to fuck up. And, uh, you know. Oh, where's my... There it is. F die. I'm killing all of you, bro. Die. Nobody likes looters, okay? Nobody likes that shit. But anyway, we're going to go save some rock hero dudes. I feel like it'd be better to get them first. Mainly because they're in an outside area. There's a lot more zombies within that area. And even though they kind of take them out with a good little guitar explosion. Which is quite lovely. Um, I feel like it would just be easier to start off with rock heroes. And then we can get the other two. And then we can hopefully go back to the safe house. Give Katie her... Zombrex to prevent my daughter from turning into a zombie because I'd hate the the thought of Chuck having to put down his daughter I mean imagine that that would be so depressing that would just be uh, like if that were to be canon at all he had to put his daughter down Dead Rising 3 wouldn't be a thing because as far as I know Katie's the teenager who's actually hella pretty in that game she does look very nice. I do think she looks very nice, but still, I don't want to be responsible for having to put down my daughter because she's, uh, she turned into a zombie. Oh, Katie will need Zombrix has just turned red. That's probably not good. All right. Hello. Lady, that crowd is a bunch of zombies. Yeah, I, I, I'm aware. Talk to this, bro. Zombie winkers, eh? I thought these blokes were just headbanging to the best damn Angel Lust concert ever. No, they're, they're zombies. The outbreak must have happened during your show. Listen, we need to get to safety. All right, mate. We'll go along with you, but we're artists. We have to finish up first. Oh, yeah. I love that. That's actually super satisfying to witness. So... Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, talk to you. I'm going to give her a weapon. Those two have a weapon. Those two are chilling. So, uh, I'm going to give you a guitar, too, because I think it's it's a reasonable thing to give you. All right, all right. So, now we're going to an industrial... What? All right, yeah. All right, follow. Where are we going? I don't know. I think I know exactly where we're going. Yikes. Unfortunately, time is ticking. We got to make our way. So far, the NPCs seem to be doing well. 
They're not being too stupid yet. Oh, we got to go over there. Whoa. What is going on? Keep close. Come on, don't fuck around now. Don't fuck around. Ah, yeah, we got to go. Oh, there's so many zombies, though. There's so many. Holy Jesus. Oh, good gracious. Don't get bit, fellas. Oh, one of them's getting attacked. Okay, okay, we're good. We're chilling. Ow, ow. Holy shit. This might have been a bad idea. This might have been. I don't know. I would like to be successful in this mission here. Oh, Katie will need Zombrex. That is going down fast. This is going to be quite... Oh, come on, bro. No, I can, I can, I can get you in there. Yeah, we're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're absolutely chilling. I thought she got grabbed a little further back, so I'd have to save her. No, she was right at the door. I could just walk right in. She's, she's absolutely alive and well, so... We gotta be quick. I cannot keep wasting time here. I have to do everything I can to hurry up and get to these two people. I was just pushing a button and I casually stopped walking. You know, that's just, um... That's normal. Definitely. Uh, I also want to, like, make videos in the future, like, after I complete the games, where I look for achievements I haven't gotten yet. Like, there's definitely a lot of achievements in games I haven't, um, that I have beat. There's achievements in games that I have beat that I have yet to receive. Like, in Dead Rising 2, for sure. In Dead Rising 1, definitely. Yeah, uh, I get that. Come with me, I can take you to a safe place. I can take care of myself for now, but my friend sure can't. Uh, so we gotta get her girl up here. Chill, chill, chill. Daddy's here. You're just kidding. I'm not your daddy. I hate kids. Anyway, you gotta come with me, ma'am. Lady, you okay? I'm not used to zombies. I tell you what, I'm real tired from fighting. Come on, there's a safe place not too far from here. Follow me. You got it, mister. Let's get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. We have a little bit of time. We have time. Willa, you gotta, you gotta jump down, hon. You gotta, you gotta come this way. There we go. Now I can pick you up and we can get you out of here quicker. It's better to be safe than sorry, you know? Alright. Yep, my problem. Let's just get out of here. Okay, let's go. By the way, in case y'all wondered, why am I not reading as much? Why am I not reading the dialogue? My throat is dry as shit and I'm too lazy to go get a drink. I mean, I have a drink here, but RC Cola doesn't exactly quench the thirst, if you know what I'm saying. Definitely a nice cold cup of water would be lovely, but I'm too lazy right now, and I'm more focused on recording. This way. So, just gonna have to suffer through it for now. Hurry up. Uh, that Katie will need Zombrex. That shit is going down fast. Oh my goodness. Now we gotta go through here. Oh shit, y'all are already here? Jesus, y'all are fast as fuck. These NPCs aren't as workless as I thought, or AI. I don't know. What? They're technically both. You can't play them. And, uh, technically, I think they're both ran. All of them are ran by artificial intelligence, right? My god, I know! I'm coming so fast. Relax. I'm not putting her down. I am not putting her down. So keep ringing, bitch. Keep ringing. You're wasting your time, and you're wasting mine. Alright, good, 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 good. So, obviously, we gotta hurry the fuck up. We gotta get Katie her Zombrex pronto, because this is going to be a problem. Alright, well, I'm not answering that. I'm not putting down Willa, because that's just gonna waste more time. Just deal with the annoying sound of the transceiver, or walkie-talkie, whatever you want to call it. There's the Royal Flush Plaza. We're so close to victory right now. Like, we're making progress here. We're getting these five people to safety. They will be A-OK. -okay. So, yeah, we're definitely doing good. Will is going to survive. Floyd, Terry, Allen, and I couldn't see the last name. Gianna? Gina? I don't know. I don't care. All right, good, good. Katie, we're coming. We're coming, my precious little daughter. We're going to inject you with this 
delightful Zombrix that's going to prevent you from turning into an undead fiend for the next 24 hours. Oh my god, I hate that so much. That is so obnoxious. I'm getting real sick of hearing this transceiver. That's... Stop! I didn't want to do that. My lord. I didn't want to put you down, Willa. Don't be stupid. Do you want to survive or do you want to die? Because I'll leave you out there to die. I don't really care. I'm a heartless person. I'll leave you there for dead. Just kidding. I'm not that bad. At least I don't think I am. I don't. Am I? Who knows? Only time will tell. Every action I make creates a different future. Alright. So now we can get these guys in there. Like, if I was, like, a lower level, the experience I'd be gaining from this would be magnifique. It'd be beautiful. They may have been dead, but no one has been so into our performance before. This little baddie can get you out of a jam. I believe he gives us uh, one of those cards, right? Like a combination weapon card or whatever. But I already have it because, like I said, I've beaten this game before. I just wanted to get some Dead Rising 2 upon the channel. Hurry up and save my daughter. I still can't believe you were on that show. It's so cruel. Yeah, I know. But I didn't have a choice. Listen, there's really not much we can do now except wait. I'll call you if I see anything. Chuck is fucking father of the universe, bro. Like... He does shows that could get him killed. All for his daughter. He gets her her medicine. He gives her love. Brings her presents. Got her a fucking tiger. Come on, bro. Look at this. Look at this fucking tiger, bro. Snowflake at one point was a beast who would tear you to shreds. Now, she is the most lovable, lovey-dovey house cat you could ask for. Bro, Give. The, I just gave her the Zombrex. What do you want from me? But I made this kitty a lovable house pet, and now she has a pet cat. Are you happy? Thanks, Dad. I feel better already. Good, good, good. Thanks for being strong, kiddo. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, I think Boomtown's about to turn yellow. Meaning, we have a little bit of time to kill. Now, until then, like I said, I don't exactly know what to do here. I would add, like, a cut, but any mission could pop up, so... I guess we just kind of wait, figure out what happens, and I make a cut until then. So, uh, yeah, if something happens, uh, ding dong, I shall be back in literally a millisecond, according to you guys. But for me, it could be anywhere between one minute all the way through at least a half an hour. Although I don't think it'll be a half an hour, but yeah, you'll see. I mean, yeah, that's cool. I don't know. I thought I'd just show off that little cutscene because it was going to appear regardless. It was something. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a few when something actually happens. So I do want to get this real quick. This is important. Got some Zombrex. Little spot. If you ever come out and there's like this little stage in the... Uh, I, I think we're in the Slot Ranch Casino. Are we? Hold on. I forgot what button does that. There we go. Yeah. So we're in the Slot Ranch Casino. If you go to the, the Slot Ranch Casino, there's this stage. Just go to the back. And then if you, like, jump on this box, 
over here and you jump up. There's just Zombrex chilling up here. Easy Zombrex. What? What the fuck? Do I hear fucking laughing, bro? What the hell is this? Who the hell are you people? Where did you come from? I just hear laughing and this shit appears. Okay. Thank you, handsome. I got so much. I, or I got such a good price on these shoes. There was no way I was leaving them here. We all got our own priorities. You can follow me to the safe house now. Thanks yet again, but I have another favor to ask. What is it? We need a big, strong man to carry our boxes. Would you fetch them from the counter and you better not break anything? Bro, you're kidding. You're actually shitting me. These bitches are in the middle of a zombie apocalypse and they're concerned about shoes. Okay. Alright. Stick with me. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. God, man. These women have their priorities straight, but it doesn't no. This way. Stick to me. Just get your shoes out of here, bro. I, I just think that's so ridiculous. Are y'all fucking kidding me? Women, bro. Just kidding. Women are fine. Women are fine. Um, did I say you could bite her, bro? Get off of her. Oh my god! Zombies. Literally the bane of my existence right now. You bitch. Alright, we don't got time for this shit, ladies. Get it moving, bro. Get it moving. Ladies, women, gentle fish. I don't know. I don't care. I think your shoes and your safety are a bigger priority than fighting zombies that you guys clearly cannot handle. Still there? So we're gonna get these. Dear God. Come on. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. So they're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, right? People are dying all around all around them. Their loved ones are dead. They're gonna end up dead. Uh, they're definitely feeling like a lot of shit going on. And what's their main concern? Their what? I can't talk. What's their main concern? You ask. Fucking shoes, you know, because shoes are like love and life, right? For real. Oh my god, <laughs> just fucking shoes, bro. All right, well. I got your shoes. I hope you're happy. Uh, fuck you, though, for making me just save you for a pair of fucking shoes or a bunch of shoes. I don't know. Thank you for your help. You are welcome. You guys look like news reporters. What? You're welcome? Okay. Well, at least something happened. I just heard laughing, and I was like, what the hell? Then fucking, I go upstairs, and boom, you know, just three women. Standing there, chilling, doing their thing. For... I didn't click my mouse button, bro. I did not click my mouse button. That did not happen. I didn't... No way. My orange juice, man. I didn't even click my mouse. If I did, then it was completely unintentional, but... I don't... No, no. I don't think I clicked my mouse. I don't recall clicking my mouse. My orange juice is gone because Chuck wanted to be fat. It is almost time for Boomtown. Boom. <laughs> All right. It was TK. He's the one who framed us. TK? Are you sure? He admitted it to my face. That's not possible. Why would he let his own zombie supply loose? Sabotage his own show? I saw him with my own eyes. So you say. Is that who your source is? TK? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Chuck. Whoa, what was that? It sounded like it came from outside. Looks like someone might be messing with the casino vaults. I can't tell who it is, though. Then I'd better get out there and find out for myself. I don't know if she's really brave or just really stupid. Both. <laughs> yeah, she's 
She's definitely both. She's definitely the hand of cards. I... I just drank my milk! Why? I... Okay, I know I pressed the button this time. But it was so soft, I barely pressed it. Misery is pain. Pain is suffering. And I'm suffering without my milk. Because my bones grow weaker. I need my milk back. Anyway. That was a poem about milk because I fucking love milk. It's delicious. See, urgent. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know, I know. So, obviously, we're going to all the casinos. Gonna stop those big, bulky men from doing that bad stuff. Gonna start off with the one right here. Because, you know, it's like right next to us. Very easy to reach. We're gonna hop up in there. You ain't grabbing me, boy. Get off me. Zombie thinks he's getting lunch today. Nah, nah. He, he's gonna starve. He, I'm gonna let him starve for the rest of his undead life. Oh my god. Fuck you. Make you my bitch, buddy. Did you just slap me, bro? Zombie just bitch smacked me. Oh my god. Die. Enough of you. <laughs> Enough of that. Okay. Break, will you? Jesus. What is up with that? Uh, see? Got any updates? Yeah, we, there's more. There's always got to be more. I'm going to have some of this coffee creamer, though. Although, I'm curious if that's the liquid kind of coffee creamer, because I've... It doesn't exactly... It looks like the one that contains powdered... Uh coffee creamer it's a little strange I suppose but it's whatever so yeah we're going out here to back to the Royal Flush Plaza I think it wants us to go down to the uh, slot ranch casino I don't know why but it is what it is so we're definitely just gonna Follow the arrow. Hello, Playboy woman on the poster. How are you today? So, yeah, I, I assume it's definitely uh, leading us to the Slot Ranch Casino where the next line of TK's goons are... Really? Bro tried to eat me, so I had to get, hit him with that DDT from the WWE. Had to drop him head first. Made Dean Ambrose proud. Or maybe Diamond Dallas Page. I don't know. I don't remember who all does the DDT or not. I'm not that big in the wrestling like I used to be. Alright. Yep. Slot Ranch Casino. Goody goody. It's time to go take out more of those goons. TK has brought into the, into the problem here. We're going to have to take them out with force. Gonna have to take them out nice and slow. Slow and steady. If Ted was still alive, though, he'd have a problem with that. Money! I want this money. Alright, you're dead, bro. You're all dead to me. Your bullets are weak. I'm on a different level. I'm on a different level! I'm built different. None of you can handle this power that I have. Alright. Another one down. Uh, luckily, there is food in here. Hello. TK is still moving his heavy equipment, and more of those thugs are showing up as well. I'm worried, Chuck. You should be. 
TK is a dangerous, evil man. No, I want this whiskey, thank you. He's a very dangerous, dangerous man. Wasn't there like a pizza in here or something? What is this? Yeah, I don't need this. <laughs> I don't. There is a pizza in here. Uh, I look at the pizza, so it gives me the fucking share. This game, man. This game. This game. I'm gonna have to throw hands with the developers, bro. Just kidding. I got. I got love for this game. Just. I'm kind of dumb. I'm not kind of dumb. I'm full on fucking stupid. Forgive me for I am the stupidest YouTuber you will ever come across. Well, maybe, maybe not. Like, people like, uh... You know what, man? I feel like if I say names for people that I don't like on YouTube for how they are... And it reaches out, I'm gonna have to, like, defend myself. And I, even though I, I have an interesting form of humor, I like to throw in some dark humor. I like to have a little bit of fun. I like to do this. I like to do that. I don't want no beef. Because I just want some chicken. I want some of that good old protein, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, there's there's protein in beef, obviously. Just I feel like chicken, like... Grilled chicken is healthier than beef. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. I don't know. I don't know. I genuinely don't. I just... The way I was raised, I always thought chicken... Seem like a healthy alternative, uh, well, not a healthy alternative, but just a healthy replacement compared to beef. Oh my god. They're fucking ready for me, bro. Alright, give me this beer. Are they throwing nades at me? Alright. Bitch had the reload and it cost him his life. I'm gonna kill you too, buddy. Oh, you're both dead. You're dead too, buddy. It's game over for you. It's over. Yep, you're done. Have a good life. Inhale. Whatever life you have left. You don't have any... Well, maybe I should say have a good afterlife. There we go. I'm just... Damn. If I would have said that, I would have just come off as built different. But if anything, I... I'll be fine. Yes, of course you'll be fine. I'll... Yes, I'll, I'll come back in one piece. I'm built different. I'm fucking Chuck fucking Green. What do you got? Chuck, there are men drilling into the walls outside of the Atlantic Casino. Ah, ah. Money. Honestly, in real life, $300 seems amazing right now. Like, a lot of people are like, you can't do much with $300. Well, actually, I'm sure not many people would say that, because I'm sure there's a lot you can do with $300. You could get food, fucking get a ticket to an amusement park. You could do a bunch of shit. Oh, my God. Oh, she's sucking my dick. Get off me, woman. I get it. It's a hotel. It's, or it's... Technically, it's a hotel. Technically. There's hotels in here, ain't there? I don't know. I never thought about that. I think there's like a hotel within uh, the area this game takes place in. I don't know. Now that I truly think about it, do I know anything? Am I just that unbelievably fucking stupid where I don't... No? Oh my god, bro's hungry. Get off of me. And I just heard, like, someone throw something. I know you can get sushi! I want the sushi. Gonna try to avoid the alcohol because, uh... I think, uh, everyone knows Chuck has a bit of a drinking problem. Alright, so... Where did that explosion come from? Because I know it's like way down here. That we have to go. And yet, an explosion just went off right near when I left the area. 
That's totally not uh, suspicious at all. Oh my god, money. Fucking money! Give me that. $5,000. Any amount counts. You build that shit up, save it. You live your life. That's what you do. Alright, here we go. Here's the fucking... I hate this part so much. One down. Oh, you're not that bad at all. Is there another one? Oh yeah, we're finishing off this armored van. And then we have a fucking psychopath battle we can do. Rock on. Get off of me. Jesus Christ, y'all are hungry today. Showing up at the right time, don't you? Have you covered wars or something? Not until now. Everybody has a first time, Chuck. So, you believe me now? They're robbing the damn city. That's why they started this. For money. You sure got your story now. Listen, I've got a meeting with my source tonight. I think maybe it's time you met. I thought a professional journalist never gave up a source. I think this is kind of a special case, Chuck. I'll meet you at 11 o'clock in the bar at the Yucatan. It's a date. Man, those two. It, everyone has a first time, Chuck. Oh, they were gonna get frisky. Rated 18 and older for Chuck and Rebecca's future sex tape. Kids, cover your eyes. Uh, someone put in the edit for my video about uh, Stefan Carl or whatever his name is. The dude fr who's uh, from the number one meme. I don't know. Probably just going to cut this out so I can do that. So we have time to kill until the source. And <laughs> we're going to go do a psychopath battle because, you know, that's, that's fun. I like psychopath battles. So I know exactly where we're going. We're going here to the Atlantic Casino. The Atlantica. And then we're going to go through the Atlantica Casino. And go to the other part of the mall. I think it's Paradise Plaza? Paradise Plaza? I may be incorrect. I don't know. And then we're going to fight Slappy. Now, Slappy is an interesting psychopath. He's actually a little fucking annoying, to be quite honest. But... I think he's a super unique psychopath battle, and it's actually kind of fun to fight him, as long as you know what you're doing. As long as you know what you're doing, there's no issues, there's no problems, but if you don't, oh, Slappy is... He's just a hell of a chap, if you know what I mean, he's... Not the most fun guy. Oh my god, I wanted to grab the cocktail! Yet these bitches are on my ass! God, I fucking hate these zombies. I, I need to go in here for a minute. I need to recuperate. I need to drink a beverage. Some OJ will do the trick. Games. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're just gonna drink this and a little bit of beer. Probably not the most delicious taste, to be fair. So yeah, we're gonna head over here. Go into the other part of the mall and we're gonna go meet slappy for the first time in this playthrough the first and last time because i don't know shit 
I mean, Slappy's, uh, I think he's a fun character to fight. Like I said, I, I know I've repeated this already, but I'm repeating it again because fuck you, I can do that. Um, I think uh, Slappy is fun as long as you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, Slappy sucks. Honestly, <laughs> like if you don't know what you're doing, Slappy's, he's garbage. So I'm gonna go over here, definitely grab some more orange juice, cause he can he can dish damage. He's a he's good at dishing out the damage. Oh my lord, the the zombies in this walkway are Oh my god, old man, fuck you. The amount of zombies in this walkway are ridiculous, absolutely absurd. I think I grabbed too many orange juices because I need to drop something for the. Ugh. Need to grab the shotgun up here. Jump, Chuck, you dumbass. Alright, so I need to drop something. Honestly, I'm gonna drop the pizza. As delicious as it is, the shotgun is, uh, in my opinion, just better. Here we go. Time for the slappy fight. Let's do this. You. You're Chuck Green. Uh, that's right. And you are... Oh, you know me. I'm slappy. Everyone knows Slappy, and everyone knows you. You started the outbreak. I saw it on TV. No, buddy, it wasn't me. I'm being set up. But it was on TV, just like Slappy. Don't believe everything you see on TV, kid. You okay? Do you need something? Am I okay? <laughs> Do I need something? The TV says you're the one who caused all this. You, you took the best thing in the world away from me. My girl. She was so beautiful. And we had so much in common. We were gonna go on a date tonight. And she loved me for who I am. But now, now, look at her now! Now she's dead, dead because of you. You brought the zombies here. You ruined everything. I'll never get a date there. Bro, it's the zombie apocalypse, and you want a date? I gotta kick this man. Fuck you. Yeah, he do I hate that shit. I really hate that. I guess we're fighting fire with fire, Slappy. Bro, stop moving! These zombies need to go away. Jesus Christ. I'm actually going to... Yeah, fuck you, dude. Alright.
I mean, it wasn't exactly the same, but it was very similar to, um... Fucking... Steven from the first game. The way he just kind of sat up and was like... Clean up, register six. Oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm taking more Zombrex for sure, for sure. I did need to drink that. I think it was okay that I pressed the button there. I'm gonna drink this too. Is that a dildo? That's a dildo right there. That's a... That is a woman or man pleaser right there, ladies and gentlemen. And I am not interested in buying that. No, fuck you. Anyway, what do I do next here? I'm trying to... Well, I don't think there really is much I can do next, honestly. I guess something I can do now, though, is I can go save the game and I can end the episode and then I can kick it off in the next one. So we're going to go save over... I think there's a save point over here, isn't there? I think... No, it's not. It's, uh... One of these. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make me a combo weapon I haven't made yet though. At least I, I don't recall making it, but Yep. Snowball cannon. Cool. Fuck yeah, man. What? <laughs> Bitch. Anyway. So just gonna go find a save point, gonna end the episode. I think we've done quite a bit. And I don't want to, like, have to wait a super long period of time just to fucking do anything. Because, let's be realistic here, that shit sucks. Nobody wants to wait. Okay, the accuracy on this thing. Oh, it's actually, it, like, spreads. Oh, my God. I gotta be honest, I do not remember where the nearest bathroom is in this game right now. I'm trying to remember. Uh, there's another maintenance room over here. I guess I can look at that temporarily. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Never mind. I was wrong. I mean, I can make another combo weapon. It's not one I will ever plan on making again, but for a little bit of content, I guess I don't mind. It kind of sucks because it doesn't really last long, but it does good damage. Yeah, like, see that? It does not last long. I just started using it. It's already at 23%. Yeah, it's, it's done. It's gone. Like a snap of a finger. Honestly, it's probably one of the most useless combo weapons you can make in this game. That's locked. I am trying to figure out where I can go to save this game. Is this locked too? It is not locked. It will take me to the silver strip. Okay. Doesn't this take me to the, um, to a rooftop or something? It doesn't take me to a rooftop, no. It takes me to this alleyway here. Ah. I see, I see, I see. Now, there's a, I can make another combo weapon, and this one I can actually do something with. Good. Alright, yeah. This one's not bad. And we're also getting missions, now that I want to end the episode. Um, oh my god, this is actually important. That is actually an important mission. I think that's a brilliant one to end the episode off on. And the reason why is because that unlocks... A quick, neat little form of transportation so I don't have to walk just to go uh, from the safe house to Paradise Plaza. So if we go over here, there's this little area we can go to. More money. Give me that money. Cha-ching, I gotta earn back what I lost from... Buying some Zombrex. Luckily, I think we can carry this lady too because uh, she was in a tanning bed a little bit too long. Just a little bit. She's very red. And I know she's thirsty. Luckily, we, we're coming packed with the orange juice. 
This is definitely a good time for this mission to pop up. How you doing, lady? Lady, can I help you? Please, please help me. I was stuck in that tanning bed. The staff ran away or something. I'm so parched I can barely move. I'll say you're baked, literally. It gets worse. I was lying in front of front for way too long. This can't be good for my tan lines. I'm so thirsty. You didn't know about the zombie outbreak? Listen, I could take you somewhere safe. Zombie outbreak? I just thought the service was here was really bad, but I can hardly move. I need something to drink. I'm still very weak. Well, I got you, homie. I got you. I got you. Have some orange juice. Have some orange juice. It'll parch that stomach of yours. Oh, yeah. I was feeling like a raisin there for a minute. Now that you're feeling better, let's get you out of here. I know how to get you to a safe house. Thank you so much, but listen, since you're helping me, I can help you too. I know about the safe house, and I know a shortcut to the south side of the fortune. I work at the brand new U on the second floor. Take me there, and I'll show you the shortcut. Perfect. Luckily, we carry her, and I notice when you carry survivors, it's a lot easier to get them through. Because you can just push through the zombies. Like, no issue whatsoever. And all we gotta do is go upstairs, go to the brand new U, and there's a little toilet we go into or a changing room now take us to a bathroom in uh over uh by the safe house like directly next to it um yeah I, I don't exactly know much else to say i'm extremely fucking thirsty and i'm once again too lazy to get off my ass and go get a drink zombies are smacking me around with a woman in my hands Trying to save this woman's life and y'all are causing problems over here. Like, how dare they? Alright, we go in here. And here's the changing room. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. I'm very glad for her uh, being a survivor because this shortcut is extremely helpful in saving time and getting certain places, like over here. It's very helpful. Now, obviously, I might as well just take her to the safe house. Then we can end the episode. Like, my goodness. So we're going to get her safe. Then we're going to save, and we're going to end the game for now. And that should be absolutely chill. There should be no problem whatsoever. So, yeah. Going to just take Lynette. To the safe house. Honestly, I have no idea what to say commentary-wise right now. Kind of just don't exactly have much going on in my head. It's like any excitement I had in the beginning of the video, the, the thought process of me speaking just kind of fizzled out, you know? And that shit sucks. It really does. Because I love talking. I love, uh, I love being a crazy YouTuber who just likes to say a bunch of random shit. Because I don't like to be like a dude that barely speaks or do this or that. He, hell, I don't even give a shit if some people are like, Oh, he's fucking annoying. I, I don't give a shit. I'll admit it. I am annoying, but I have fun being annoying. So, yeah. Anyway, this was episode 5 of Dead Rising 2. I think we made some good progress. Uh, took out some dudes from trying to rob the casino. Saved a couple people. Helped these ladies with her shoes. You know, because looking at Chuck, you could just tell he's such a gentleman in that casino with his hair the way it is. Man is a, he's a glorious, beautiful human being. He looks at himself in the mirror and he's like, God damn, I am the definition of perfection. That's what Chuck Green is. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed or dislike if you didn't. I don't care. It's up to you. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.